Hey guys, yesterday I was at Kmart, which in Australia, it's a store like um, Walmart in the US. Now, I came across this. It was only $49, which is about 35 US dollars. Now, they're calling it the punching ball. Now, we know this is a, a Cobra bag. So, I had to have it. I had to see what the hell this is all about and how they can sell it for 49 or 35 US bucks. Let's check it out. Let's see what's in the box. Instructions. Some metal tubes. Half of a place. The bag itself. Man, this is heavy. This is actually... This is a heavy bag, okay? Feels quite substantial. So that's gonna be interesting. The spring. Man, whoa. Okay, this is a decent spring. This is quite a substantial spring. Um, now I take a guess, this goes straight in there. Hey, check this out. I mean, that's pretty clever to just screw in like that. That is very clever, I like that. Whoa. All right, this spring is serious. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So that's the other half of this thing. Now, I don't know why the designers haven't thought of a way that this could just slot together without having, without having to use brackets so okay so it looks like there's a little bit of putting together I will also need to fill it up with water now I'll take it outside and test test it first make sure there are no leaks I'm very very cautious when it comes to these containers and filling them up with water because if they have a leak you'll get it all over the carpet all over the floor so I will take it outside and test filling it up. As I went to fill up these sections with water, I realized they're gonna be a lot more difficult to put together. So I decided to assemble it first and then fill it up with water. Now, they don't provide a screwdriver. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. You also need a spanner or a couple of spanners. It wasn't too difficult to put together. Um, here it is. And for uh, putting this punching bag onto this um, pipe here, you'll need a couple of spanners or adjustable wrench and then this foam thing just goes over the top to cover it up nice and neatly. Now, like I said, this is pretty heavy. I'm just going to go ahead and take it outside, fill that up, then bring it back in here and put it together and see how it goes. Alright guys, here it is. I fill it up with water. I brought it inside. I've got water all over myself. But it's not leaking, it's not leaking yet. I, I am always dubious when it comes to these bases that are water filled. I always wonder, you know, one day it's going to crack, I'll have water everywhere. I much prefer those umbrella bases that are just concrete and they're not likely to, to leak. Um, but having said that, here it is. This is the full height, by the way. It says maximum height. I'm not sure if you go any higher than that. I'm six foot, this is sort of roughly here. For, for boxing, I think this is pretty good. This is okay in terms of the height. Now, in terms of speed, there it is. But the bag is super heavy. I'm just gonna put some gloves on and do a quick demo so you can see. Okay, I've just moved it to a space where it's gonna be able to uh, lean right back without hitting anything. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's really heavy. It's heavy and slow. <laughs> I'm used to really fast punch. Wow, oh, it's really heavy. Like, man. So, I don't know, like, I don't even know what it's... It's not really a reflex bag because you're not 
training your reflexes at that sort of speed. All right, guys, look, I think there's possibilities there. Maybe this bag needs to be replaced with something lighter. I've got stuff like this that I've made in the past using um, pool noodles, nice and light. And maybe what I'll do in the next video is replace this, see if I can accelerate this, see if I can make it faster. Also, maybe raise the height slightly. So, yeah, um, see what you think. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, tick the bell, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>